You know, axe throwing has been huge in Canada for years, and now the craze has spread to the States, with bars where you can rent axes by the hour popping up all over the country. But just how safe is this exciting sport? Watch this, and then you decide. Hey, hi, I'm Jason Momoa. I like beer and throw a tomahawk. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrities like Jennifer Gardner, Jimmy Fallon, and Grand Slam siren Serena Williams make it look easy, but there's an art and a definite arc to hurling a hatchet. Canadians turned axe throwing into a national pastime, and now in the U.S., urban axe throwing bars may do the same with claims it's like darts, just more kick axe. It's sexy. It's almost like a primal instinct, you know? That's coach and trick shot expert Mackenzie Dano, who happened to be in a Montana log cabin when we caught up with her. The first time I threw axes, I threw for four hours straight. <laughs> I was hooked from the second I started. Now Mackenzie's backwards, two-handed, one-footed yoga posing throws are making their mark on social media. It's just like this empowering feeling you get where you can zone in and just hit it. At Agawam Axe, Mackenzie trains wannabe axe throwers of all kinds. I've taught an eight-year-old all the way up to a 68-year-old. I taught the mayor of my town. Anybody can do it. It seems everybody is doing it. It's even become trendy for baby gender reveals. There's really not an occasion you can't incorporate axe throwing. But remember, these are, after all, axes. At a birthday in Colorado, heart-stopping video, 26-year-old Ainsley Ray narrowly avoids an axe to the face. Watch the frightening moment her axe ricochets back towards her. She ducks and dodges possible death. When I first saw the video, it was a little bit of like a ooh moment, <laughs> you know, like that wasn't very good, but it bounce backs happen. And when I'm coaching, one of the first things that I say is these will bounce back. And if it bounce back, you need to move. So those with an ax to grind want to know, is it dangerous? Any sport you do, including ax throwing, is going to come with a risk. You're going to play football, you're going to get concussions, you're going to play soccer, you're going to get kicked in the face with a soccer ball and break your nose. But accidents do happen. Watch as a Fox and Friends co-host bad throw ends up bouncing over the target. Caught on cell phone video, the wayward weapon chopped a nearby musician on the arm. As Daily Mail reported, the West Point drummer sued Fox after the stunt, claiming he was in the path of peril and suffered pain, disability, and disfigurement. Oh, man. But despite this, experts claim it's safe the Backyard Axe Throwing League reported just five or six minor injuries over the course of their nine-year history. We treat every range like it is a gun range. These axes are tools, but they're also weapons. Expert coaches posted rules and waivers aimed to protect everyone involved. But what about adding the element of alcohol? At axe throwing bars around the country, there's plenty of beer, cider, and wine on hand. You get to drink and throw axes at the same time. It's great. I, I get a little bit worse the more I drink. One Michigan bar temporarily lost its liquor license when the State Liquor Control Commission deemed it a significant threat to public health after booze-infused hatchet hijinks made social media. If I was coaching, if people came in and I thought they were drunk, then I would ask them to leave. Don't get drunk and throw axes at the same time. It doesn't work. <laughs> Ironically enough, as a Canadian, that's one sport I haven't tried, but I know this, when I do try it, it's probably not gonna be at a bar. <laughs>